morning and win today happy sunday so today i wanted to share uh, just a little with uh, you my family my brothers and sisters so uh come with me in the book of matthew 25 we're gonna read uh from um 34 yeah from 34 uh, going down but i'm gonna jump some of the bases so it reads then the king will say to those uh, on his uh, right come you who are blessed by the father take your inheritance the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world for i was hungry not that and uh, you gave me something to eat i was thirsty and you gave me something to drink I was a stranger and you invited me in and I needed clothes. You clothed me. I was sick and you looked after me. I was in prison and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we uh, see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in? Or needing clothes and are clothed you when did we see the sick or in prison or go to visit you then in verse 40 it says the king will reply truly I tell you whatever you did for one of the least of my of these brothers and the sisters of mine you did for me Ah. Uh, I got actually touched on this part because um, honestly, many other times uh, we actually do things without knowing the impact that we are actually impacting in people's lives. Many other times you find that, um, I, I remember Prophet T. Joshua said, um, you don't know how much you need gold, not until you are capable of doing uh, something, something, whether it is eating, sitting, and you recognize to say that it is not out of your own power. But you are doing that with him who lives inside of you. Because you know to say that I cannot do this thing by my own power. I don't have any power of my own, but he helps me to do that. So you need God more than you need a miracle. And also, Prophet Joshua said, you cannot actually appreciate God by you saying that when I get bigger blessings that's when I will appreciate him you only learn how to appreciate God in small things this is why he valued to say he valued the little things he said that something big must start small why because when you have something that is a a little it's like a, the story of the woman who actually gave the silver coins in the book of Mark 12, you see that uh, that woman, she never had enough, but she just got out of the, the best to appreciate God. So if you want to know more about God, give God your time, even in that situation that you are in. You don't have to wait to say that, uh, no, I will not give others, not until I become this. Or I will not pray as much as I could um, because uh, I need this and this. Listen, there are times where people would laugh, maybe they laugh, they see you going to church, they laugh, they see you giving, they laugh, they see you doing, as long as you are doing it out of your heart. Whatever you are doing, it is coming out of your heart being inspired by the holy spirit you are doing it for god you don't need a man's approval to come and tell you to say wow what you or you need uh, uh, uploads or whatever just keep on doing those things because god will reward you he will reward you for everything that you are doing and yes he rewards even those who are doing evil because there is nothing that you are you can plant without actually reaping anything whatever you plant there must be something that you need to reap so if you're planting that which is good you will reap what is good if you're planting that which is evil you will reap that which is evil it is equal game there's nothing like no god is not fair this is a story of the sheep and the goats 
And you see that Jesus used the sheep to represent the righteous. Because even when you go back into the word, you find that God loved to use parables. And he used also a story of a shepherd who actually cares for his children. Sorry, not children. Who cares for, for the sheep. Him being the shepherd, the sheep being the servant. So mainly the sheep, they only follow what the master say. So you, if you are a sheep, you will follow what Jesus has step. He has already showed us the way. And the only way to do is to only obey. Are you obeying God's ways? Are you following his teachings? Or are you the God that comes with pride? That comes with confusion? That comes with all the manners that are not of God. And yet they pretend to love God. They pretend on camera to worship God. They pretend to serve him. But yet whatever they are doing it is not of God. Their heart is full of envy. Their heart is full of anger. Their heart is full of unforgiveness. Because you cannot love when you do not live with love. Because Satan himself, he knows what love is. He knows to say that God is love. But have you ever seen Satan loving? No. And this is what happens to the gods. Because gods are rebellious. They do not have that humbleness to bring themselves to say, I am just a, a servant who should do that which my master tells me to do. Be a sheep. Be a sheep that will do the least things. Even if it's small, just do it with all your heart. If it means giving advice, give to the level based. If it means doing hospitality, do it to the level based. Because God has your back. Don't look at what people are saying to say, for how long have you been doing this and yet we are not seeing any results. God is watching. He watches after his children. He sees each and everything that you do in private and he will reward you openly. This is the only advice that I wanted to give to my fellow believers to say that keep on trusting on God. Keep on doing good. Don't allow yourself to stop being a good person because you have been disappointed by people. Don't stop to talk about Christ just because others, they don't want to talk about Christ. Represent him well. Take that journey knowing to say that it is not easy to climb at the top of the mountain. But when you are taking each and every step with focus, no matter what you're going to encounter, be it trials, be it anything that you're going to meet along the way to the top, it will not affect you. Because greater is he that lives inside of you than the one who is in this world. The one that is in this world, his business is to distract. How much do you give your time to God in this world of distraction? How much do you give your heart to God in this world of distraction? Because this world is full of destruction. If you are not forecast, the lion, we are told in actually 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8, to say that the devil comes like a roaring lion who is busy looking for who to devour. If he finds you being occupied, having a space that he sees, oh, I can actually take this space, he will come and put something. Be forecast. Let your eyes be fixed on Jesus and don't lose that focus. Only focused people will reach to the top. And that top, I'm not going to tell you to say, you're going to have blessings, you're going to have this, but you're going to go to heaven. Eternal life. Eternal life is what you are going to have at the end. The end is eternal life. I love you so much. Stay blessed.